Hello friends, welcome back to a new video that is MCQs on disease microbiology or microbial diseases and this is the part 5 of this series of videos on disease microbiology. So let's start the question answer session on this topic and the first question of this part 5 video is question number 81 that is diseases that may be caused by Staphylococcus aureus or option A wound infection and abscesses option B boils and car uh, carbuncles on any surface areas or option C pimples and impetigo or option D all of the above so <clears throat> the disease that may be caused by Staphylococcus aureus is option D that is all of the above conditions are caused by Staphylococcus aureus okay so next is question number 82 toxic shock syndrome is caused by option is staphylococcus aureus option b is staphylococcus pneumonia option c is staphylococcus epidermidis or option d all of the above so toxic shock, shock syndrome is caused by option a that is staphylococcus aureus so this toxic shock syndrome is a rare life-threatening complications of certain types of bacterial infections often toxic shock, uh, shock syndromes result from toxins produced by staphylococcus aureus bacteria but the condition may also be caused by toxins produced by group A staphylococcus bacteria okay so let's move on to question number 83 that is potentially pathogenic bacteria found in air conditioning and other water retention systems is option A Legionella species, option B Staphylococcus epidemidis or option C Pseudomonas aeruginosa or option D Staphylococcus aureus. So which one is correct one? That is option A that means Legionella species. So potentially pathogenic bacteria found in air conditioning and other water retention system is Legionella species. Okay. So let's move on to question number 84 various toxins produced by staphylococcus is option a enterotoxin option b exfoliative toxin is a option c hemolysin or option d all of the above so the right one is option d that is all of the above are the various toxins produced by staphylococcus that are enterotoxin and exfoliative toxin a and hemolysin okay so next one is question number 85 so which statement is correct for nosocomial and the options are option a hospital acquired infection option b antibiotic resistant pathogen option c pandemic in many parts of the world or option d none of the above so the right one is option a that is hospital acquired infections so nosocomial is associated with host hospital associated infection so a nosocomial infection also known as healthcare associated infection is an infection that develops while a person is receiving medical care. So nosocomial infection can occur within 48 hours of entering a hospital. Okay. So let's move on to question number 86. That is <coughs> methicillin resistant staphylococcus aureus strains have emerged as option a antibiotic resistant pathogen option b pandemic in many parts of the world option c nosocomial problem or option d both a and c so the right answer is option d that is both a and c is the right answer about the methicillin resistant s aureus so they are antibiotic resistant pathogen and also they are nosocomial they cause nosocomial problem that is the healthcare problem in the hospitals okay when we enter hospitals uh, that s aureus can cause uh, can infect the <coughs> that uh, hospitalized patient okay so let's move on to question number 87 that is strains of enterococcus and staphylococcus recently have become resistant to option a vancomycin option b methicillin option c penicillin option d rifampin so the right answer is option a that is vancomycin so strains of enterococcus and staphylococcus recently have become resistant to vancomycin 
antibiotics so the next question is question number 88 that is major sexually transmitted diseases is option a aids option b conori option b lymphogranuloma uh, venerum or option d all of the above so the right answer is option d that is all of the above are sexually transmitted diseases that is aids conori and lymphogranuloma venerum okay so the next question is question number 89 that is syphilis was first recognized in option a india option b germany option c africa or option d europe and the right answer about the syphilis is option d that is europe so syphilis was first recognized in europe okay next is question number 90 that is Venereal, syph venereal syphilis is a option a foodborne disease option b airborne disease option c sexually transmitted disease or option d direct contact disease so it is the right answer is option c it is it is a sexually transmitted disease okay next is question number 91 that is congenital syphilis is a disease acquired option a in utero form from the mother in the utero from the mother or option b from a single exposure to an infected sex partner or option c through mucous membrane of the skin or option d all of the above so the right answer is option d that is all of the above is the right answer about the congenital syphilis disease acquired by all these <coughs> conditions okay so next is question number 92 that is tetanus is caused by option a clostridium tetany option b chlamydia trachomatis option c clostridium botulinum or option d campylobacter jejuni and the right answer is option a that is clostridium tetany so tetanus is caused by clostridium tetany okay so the next one is question number 93 that is tetanospasmin and tetanolysine are associated with option a trachoma option b tetanus option c botulism or option d syphilis so the right answer is option b that is tetanus so tetanus is associated with tetanospasmin and tetanolysin so this tetanolysin and tetanospasmin are both toxins produced by bacterium clostridium tetany so tetanolysin is cytolysin that increases the permeability of cellular membranes and tetanospasmin is also known as tetanus neurotoxin because it acts on the central nervous system okay so next question is lockjaw is associated with option a trachoma option b botulism option c tetanus or option d syphilis so the right one is option c that is tetanus so lockjaw is associated with tetanus okay next is question number 95 so which one is the greatest single cause of blindness throughout the world and the options are option a trachoma option b inclusion conjunctivitis option c tetanus option d botulism so the right one is option a that is trachoma so which one is the greatest single cause of blindness throughout the world that is trachoma and this trachoma is a bacterial infection that affects your eyes it caused it caused by the bacterium chlamydia trachomatis this trachoma is contagious spreading through contact with the eyes eyelid and nose or throat secretions of infected people okay so these are all about trachomatis or trachoma so next question is question number 96 that is enterotoxins are option a toxin disrupt the functioning of the nasopharyngeal mucosa option b toxins disrupt the functioning of the intestinal mucosa or option c toxin disrupt the functioning of the urinary tract mucosa or option d all of the above and the right answer is option b that is these enterotoxins are toxins disrupt the functioning of the intestinal mucosa okay so these enterotoxins are harmful substances produced by bacteria that can damage your digestive system so they can cause gastrointestinal symptoms such as cramps nausea vomiting diarrhea 
etc okay so the next question is question number 97 that is which one of the following is the causative agent of botulism and the options are option a clostridium titani option b chlamydia trachomatis option c clostridium botulinum or option d campylobacter jejuni and the right one is option c that is clostridium botulinum so botulinum a botulism is caused by clostridium botulinum microorganism okay so the next one is question number 98 that is clostridium titanis uh, titanis uh, uh, titanis toxin that is titanospasmin is a option a hemolysin option b neurotoxin or option c enzyme or option d all of the above so which type it is that is option b that is neurotoxin so titanospasmin is a neurotoxin and this titanospasmin is a potent neurotoxin that migrate from the axons of the motor nerves to the neuronal cell body in the spinal cord okay so that's why it affect the central nervous system so the next question is that is prevention and control of botulism involves option a strict adherence to safe food processing practices by the food industry option b educating the public on safe home preserving method for foods option c not feeding honey to infants younger than one year age option d all of the above so which one is the prevention and control of botulism involves that is option d is all are the prevention and control for botulism okay so the last question of this video that is botulism is a option a airborne disease option b sexually transmitted disease option c foodborne disease or option d zoonotic disease and the right one is option c that is it is a foodborne disease so botulism is a foodborne disease so these are all 20 questions of this part 5 video by part 5 of this mcqs on disease microbiology or microbial diseases okay so thank you for watching this video